I'm Ian. I'm Hannah. I'm John. We're the Spirit of Bloom Flights team. Um, we're here today to fly from Block Screen, uh, which is just south of Minsterley. The wind's out of the northeast, so we'll be heading down towards Stately over the uh, Corndon Hill. We've been here 10 years. We set ourselves up because we felt that Britain was missing the real ballooning experience. Ballooning companies had got um, bigger and bigger and bigger baskets and we think that makes it harder to fly in more interesting ways and over really interesting terrain like we have here in Shropshire. We don't just fly over the Shropshire hills now, we fly right up north Sh Shropshire near Whitchurch from Darnford Fisheries, right down to Ludlow from the rugby club just below the castle. We fly as far west as Oswestry from uh, the Sweeney Hall Hotel and as far east as Roxton Roman Vineyard. Well, I've been flying balloons for over 25 years. Uh, I started doing it for a sport, um, competition ballooning, national championships, things like that, worlds, Europeans. And then about 15 years ago, I started flying commercially. And then 10 years ago, we moved to Shropshire and set up our own ballooning business. Once the balloon has taken off, Ian will have has given me a brief and he will have told me the direction and the uh, likely speed. So I will be trying to follow the balloon, trying to keep it in sight. If that's not possible, we've got two-way radio contact with Ian, so he'll be able to tell me where he is. And I'll be trying to make for a point where I think he's likely to be landing. Okay. Shropshire misty morning, very atmospheric, lovely to fly with the mist, you know, and the little layers of cloud. Uh, later the sun will get up and burn through it all. Once we're airborne, then the balloon is flying with the wind, so it's completely calm, there's no wind at all. Uh, so people usually stand up for the flight uh, because you've got this wonderful 360 degree all-round view of the world. We do specialise in the small balloon uh, basket with only four to six passengers and we do fly from people's own launch sites so we can go to where people live and fly from their own home patch which makes it fun for them. Flying in lovely countryside very little controlled airspace in Shropshire, so we're free to fly anywhere within reason. Um, the hills around here, the Stipe Stones, the Long Mind, area of outstanding natural beauty, it's just a wonderful area to fly.
Um, and then for the landing, when we've been up about an hour to an hour and a half, again, people sit down, hold on to the handles uh, for the landing. Uh, landings vary from stand-up calm landings and no wind at all uh, to drag landings if the wind's above about six to eight miles an hour. And with a drag landing, it's good fun and it's very safe. The balloon touches down, it drags across the field, tips onto its side and then scoots along a bit and stops after about you know, 10, 20, 30, maybe 50 yards if it's windy. Uh, it's very safe and um, then everybody just disembarks. So it's all very exciting but it's very safe. Well, this is part of the ballooning tradition because the very first balloonists the, uh, in France, you know, they, uh, 200 odd years ago when they landed, they did literally get attacked by the locals sometimes because they thought they were demons from the heavens. Okay. You know. So they produce a bottle of bubbly just to prove that, you know, they were genuine, <laughs> normal humans. <laughs> Cheers! If you'd like to contact us, please give us a ring on 01743 790 100 or visit our website. So climb aboard, come and fly with us for the real ballooning experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly good enough. <laughs> <laughs>